Hi guys, today I'm using the Hime Jelly Gouache Palette along with some paint brushes. My friend actually got me this set for Christmas, so shout out to Emily for getting me this. I've actually been wanting to try this for a while. I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube use it, so I'm actually really excited. Uh, the palettes come in different colors. There's the mint one like I have, there's a pastel blue, there's a pink, and then some sellers have a yellow one. So they come in a variety of colors. Um, gouache itself is, if you don't know what it is, it's kind of like acrylic and watercolor. So if you use the paint straight out of a tube or like straight out of a cup, like this for example, it comes out very opaque so you can't really see through it. And if you add water to it, it has a watercolor effect. So um, I've used gouache once before, or actually a couple times before. I have the um, Arteza set of gouache. I have the 24 set. It's um, it's really nice. Like I, I like gouache a lot. I think it's a really versatile medium um, because you can kind of have both sides to it. You can have the opacity and you could also have the watercolor effect of it. So I think that's really interesting. Um, so these little like cups come out and you have to peel the tops of them and this was really messy so if you are going to get this make sure you have like a little garbage can nearby. I had like a little Walmart bag next to me so I could throw these out in. Um, yeah just be careful like the foil on top is kind of um, like hard to peel off. I don't know why. Um, I had a really hard time with this purple one. So Peeling these off, yeah, not fun. <laughs> um, but after you get everything peeled off and situated, they're actually really fun to use. And I've seen other people use these, and I know that like over time, like if you have it in the palette, um, it tends to dry up. But the good thing about gouache is that you can always add water to it to reactivate it. So that is another plus to this medium. It's something, I don't know, I feel like it's very, like, travel friendly. I feel like it's very, like, just versatile in general. And I really like it. I've been trying to get back into drawing again. If you don't know, I am doing a 30-day challenge called um, Ferriary, or some places call it February, which doesn't make sense, but I like I like fairy better. It sounds better. So I'm doing this 30 day challenge where I draw a fairy for every day in February. So you can look at my Instagram if you want to see that. Um, I also post on Twitter and Artemino. Um, I'll link everything down below. But the reason why I wanted to do more 30 day challenges was to kind of like push myself and also get back into art again. I feel like I've been very like, um, how do I say it? Um, I don't know how to say it. I feel like last year and the year before I've been very not attached to art, I guess. I, I kind of disconnected, especially like the last couple months for last year. I've like disconnected a lot. Like I barely posted anything and I was barely drawing anything and I don't want to do that. I want to keep pushing myself and keep growing. So I want to start doing 30-day challenges here and there. So right now we're in February, so I'm doing February. Um, you know, when uh, May comes up, that's there's a mermaid. That's a big one. Draw a mermaid every day in May. Um, there's different monthly challenges for every month, but I'll probably do like every other month or something like that, or every two months or every three months, something like that. Uh, the next one that's coming up that I'm excited for is, I found these online, by the way. Uh, there's something called Fawn, Fawn Gist, which is for August. You draw fawns and forest animals, so I thought it'd be cute if I drew, like, half human, half animal, like, girls, like, um, like, Tokyo Mew Mew almost. I thought that'd be really cute. So, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know about that. I rearranged these um, paints because I did not like the order they were in. I'm very much like um, like a nerd. I need my uh, like colors in like rainbow order or whatever I consider to be rainbow order. So that's just something I like. That's just my preference. Um, yeah, I mean, everybody's different. But I think that's a good thing that these come out and you can kind of arrange them however you want. 
So I had to bust out my um, moleskin watercolor sketchbook for this to kind of test out the colors. The first color I used, I kind of did different opacities of it just to kind of show like the different things you can do with it. And then the other ones I just flat out just put on the paper. So I thought these are like, I don't know, these are really vibrant. Like I, I really like these, like even like my final drawing, even like on camera, it does not do it justice you know what I mean like in real life it looks a lot more vibrant and a lot more like bright and in your face so I really like these paints I think they're really fun if anyone wants to try them definitely try it they're really like amazing um they're around like 20 bucks or so on Amazon um I found some for like 15 they're around 15 to 20 so it's not like too bad um so this drawing is of what is her name her name is Lala. She's from a show I used to watch when I was little called Magical Dore Me. Um, I know she looks like a witch, but I promise she is a fairy. She is a fairy to a witch. So that's probably why she has the hat and everything. Um, I'm really like, I'm, I'm happy with this. Like I'm, I'm excited that I used paint and I didn't come out bad. I'm really like happy about it. Um, I used some colored pencils on top to kind of give it some depth. I see a lot of artists on Instagram doing that um, just to give their drawings more form and shadows and stuff like that. So I wanted to do the same thing and I think I came out pretty decent. I basically use the paint as like a base layer and then I go over again with like pen and gel pen and stuff like that and the colored pencil to give it more shading. Um, her pants are kind of like genie pants in her design they're kind of like see-through big and poofy so I think that was the hardest thing to kind of convey throughout the drawing and then I also added these little things in the background that I actually really like so let me know if you guys like this video let me know if you'd like to see more painting or gouache or anything like that um, thank you for watching let me know what you think of this drawing and I will talk to you next time bye